Hello, class. Uh, this will be the second of uh, the two recorded lectures for section 6.8. And this one's going to be on uh, exponential decay. And so in the first lecture, we talked about exponential growth, and we're going to walk through a, an example uh, very similar to the one we did, uh, but this time it's going to be decay. And this one is what I would consider the classic one. I bet you I had that same problem when I was learning this. And so one of the things it, with regards to this idea of figuring out how old, real old things are, is this idea of carbon dating. And it's a radioactive element of carbon-14 that has a half-life of 5,750 5, years. And so this idea of figuring out how much of this carbon-14 is in uh, something that's really old, you can measure that and then figure out how old it is. And so here's an example of the Dead Sea Scrolls. And what this one says is that 22.3% of the carbon-14 uh, was lost uh, at the time it was found. And so I have to say, it's kind of a tricky way of doing what? Well, if you lost 22.3%, how much is left? Well, how much is left is 100% minus the 22.3%. So that's a little bit tricky with regards to that. But the first thing that we need to calculate is the, the K value, right? And so if we pull up the whiteboard again, um, just gonna reiterate that we have a zero. Whoops, let me, uh, I'm gonna use blue. Try this again. So it's a of t equals a zero e to the kt. Now the only difference between the growth and decay is the k value. And this time, since we have decay, k value is gonna be negative. So basically what we're given is the half-life occurs when t equals 5,750 years. And so instead of doubling, we're cutting it in half, right? So what does this mean? One half is zero. See how that works? So the idea is you have one half a zero equals a zero e to the kt. And in this case, our t value is 5,750. So now we can solve for k, because this will cancel. And we have natural log of 1 half equals the natural log of e to the 5,050k. As you can see, same type of pattern here, right? Use the power rule for logs, I can bring down the exponent. And then that goes to one and you have a natural log of one over two. So when you do this calculation, it would be K equals natural log of one half divided by 5,700. So if you get out your calculator and do that, you would see that um, the natural log of one half give us a negative number. So we'll have a negative and there's three zeros. And then one, two, oh, nine, six, eight. So let me uh, put the K up here. And so the more uh, decimals that you do the more accurate, obviously, your answer is going to be. And so uh, this was what was in the book. So I'm just going to use uh, the values that they have there. And so once we calculate our k value, now we can go back to the original problem. And if we go back to the original problem, let me just pull it up one more time. And I like to do this one because it's a little bit tricky. 
because if you look at what they're saying here, it's, it's worded kind of weird, right? It says that the Dead Sea Scrolls have lost 22.3% of its carbon-14. So basically what the equation gives you is what is left. So that would be 100 minus the 22.3%. And so if we go back to the whiteboard, Let me do a little bit of a race in here. And so here's our equation up there. Now we want to calculate T. So you'll see that we're going to have to plug in all the appropriate numbers. So if 22.3% is lost, is lost, what do you have? Well, you'd have 100 minus the 22.3%, right? And that would be 77.7%. Uh, but remember, we'll end up putting it in as a decimal. So if you start with 100%, you could write the equation this way, 0.777 times A0 equals A0 E, and now we know this crazy K. <laughs> times T. So then this goes away, and now we could take the natural log of both sides as you kind of see the pattern, right? And you see when it's the K, this number on the left side of the equal sign is always gonna be a fractional value of A0, right? Because it starts at 100%, and if you're decaying, you're gonna eventually try to get to zero, right? And so it would look like this. 68t, okay, and then natural log of 0.777, power rule, three zeros, one, two, oh, nine, six, eight, t, natural log of e, which goes to one, and so here's what our t equals. So we'd have natural log of 0.777, which again will be a negative number, right? and then divided by another negative number, which is our K value. And so if you did that, you would see T would be approximately 2,100 and three years, uh, rounding to the nearest year. So uh, again, example of uh, uninhibited exponential decay. And so uh, those are the two applications that we're going to do in section 6.8. There are two other ones, one called uh, logistic models and the other one called Newton's law of cooling. Little bit different equations, but guess what? You plug all these numbers in and you end up taking natural log again or log uh, to solve them. So uh, we're going to skip those two applications and focus on the uh, uninhibited growth and decay models.